It's really sweet. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have a special whiskey on the cask and it's the Paul John Brilliance. Yes, it's the Paul John Brilliance written down here. Um, it's a whiskey from the John Distillery um, in Goa, India, and it's an Indian single malt. Indian has a bit of a more of a loose uh, definition of whiskey. So if you drink an Indian whiskey, it doesn't have to be uh, all from grain, but it can be made from sugar molasses as well. So Indian whiskey is kind of a mixture between uh, whiskey and uh, rum. Uh, this here is a single malt, so it's 100% from malted barley. Here's a little description inside the, the bottle. And here we have the bottle. Very fine bottle. It's uh, it's not chill filtered. It's uh, not peated. Um, it doesn't carry an age statement due to the fact that they can't age it that long. Otherwise, they don't have any whiskey left because they have a very, very hot climate. And that leaves very much to the angels. So the evaporation is very high. It's a single malt. Um, and what else can I tell you about it? Um, the Paul John Distillery uh, opens its visitor center in 2017. So if you are intrigued by this uh, bottle and if, you, if you'd like to know more about it, I, I did a video about the distillery. Um, but if you want to visit the distillery, then plan it for the end of 2017 or start of 2018. Uh, the John Distillery doesn't have much cask variation yet. Um, they only have expert casks, but they have a lot of them. Um, one, uh, another cool fact is when I visited India, I bought this shirt here. It's a red purpley color and it's from Fabric India. Not that it has to do anything with the whiskey or the taste of the whiskey, but just a fact. <laughs> oh, it's very... It's really sweet. Reminds me of baked sweets, like cookies and a bit of butterscotch, a bit of pudding as well, vanilla, vanilla pudding. Some somehow a bit of a what do you call it? Crumble. You know when you have a, a cookie that has crumble on top, uh, not a cookie, a cake. Yeah. Smells like that. Mm. Light fruitiness, very light fruitiness. But the fruitiness is um, a bit fresher, so it would be like, mm, like a bit of citric aroma and a bit of light apple. But the, the cookies and, and the sweetness dominate a bit. You also get the, the sweetness, the, the cookies in the taste, but more with a, with a malty kind of side note. So it would be like a, a whole grain cookie. Mm. That's, the, that's the ones that the, the children don't like, but fit quite nice. A bit sweeter than the, the usual healthy whole grain cookie. Bit of a herbs note like mm, I can't say a bit of that, that oregano I don't know is it oregano in English mm. Mm, a bit of juniper as well mm. it's about sweetness uh, malt a bit of a grain note as well so you really have a single malt that is um in fresh ex bourbon casks, so I have a, a slight bourbon note on the side, 
with uh, a lot of sweet flavors to explore. Hmm. Oh yeah. A bit grainy note, malty note, sweet note. Mm. From the, the aftertaste, I would say, mm, yeah, it fades out in the medium aftertaste. Not too long, medium. Quite a good whiskey for uh, India. If you're more interested in Indian whiskey, then please feel free, feel free to visit whiskey.com and look for the Indian distilleries. I can tell you there are uh, two Indian distilleries right now that are worth mentioning. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.